my grandfather was very much uh, a role model in my life. And in fact, the, my middle name, Balzano, that I use uh, is in honor of him. He was a sergeant in the Hamden Police Force uh, back in the day. Um, he was a community police officer before they had community police officers. And he would tell me stories about how he would walk the beat and he would check on every business's door to make sure it was locked and had these ties with the community. And, and I watched him be able to help people um, through his, his career with the police department. And then he went on to be um, a mediator uh, up in the court system. And I know that he helped so many people with their lives. And the appreciation that people had for how he touched or guided them and, and sometimes gave them a little, you know, uh, uh, kick in the can to, uh, to say, you got to get yourself together. But in a way that came from care and love as opposed to you're just another uh, number or another person. Like there was care, there's a human being here and I'm going to try and get him on the right path. Or I'm going to try and give him a break if it wasn't something that was serious so that um, the incident wasn't negative. And everywhere we'd go, someone would come up to him and say, Andy, he has, my grandfather's name is Andy Balzano. Um, Andy, it's so great to see you, wonderful. And there was love there and there was appreciation. And sometimes people still thanking him for things that happened 10 and 15 and 20 years ago. Um, and I, actually, I don't even know if I've ever actually just said what I just said in that way. Um, but that's probably the most powerful um, positive influencer that I had the experience of seeing firsthand. And so what I wanted to do really simply is, and it sounds corny sometimes, is I want to help people. You know, when there's a neighbor, when there's a senior citizen, especially when there's someone that's more vulnerable that is saying, hey, I need some help, um, and maybe nobody's listening to them, I listen, and I try to help them when we can. And there's a lot of people in town, so it's it's hard to do that for all 62,000 on, on a given day, but I try to make myself um, really open, especially with the new uh, technology that we have. Um, I put myself out there on the social media sites, and I have some people that beg me not to <laughs> um, because, you know, doing that comes with, it takes time, uh, but it also puts out the opportunities for some people to be naysayers and, and for you to kind of go down that rabbit hole of back and forth. But I've been trying to learn how to use the tools in, in positive ways and allow the negative voices to come. But what I've learned is, is that if you don't engage the negativity um, that comes too much, right? If you clarify something that's not factual, but if, if you don't engage in negativity too much, um, people that are just having a discussion in, in a thread or, 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 or in some kind of a, on one of the platforms, they kind of police themselves because uh, people want overall um, for people to have a, uh, a, a fair tone and to, and to not, be, um, not be too extreme. And so I find it really interesting to watch when people um, kind of pull themselves together without anybody having to be the moderator and say, hell, you know what, you're right. That thing wasn't, wasn't maybe the best choice, but well, let's look at the whole picture and let's have, you know, let's have a civil discussion about it. Um, so the, the online platforms um, are a, a way to have what would be an old school town hall meeting but you can all of a sudden have it with a thousand or two thousand people, um, and you can connect with people one on one every single day of the week, um, when you can't um, in those other ways. So back then it was you know, mayor pops out every once in a while at a meeting. You know you might have a conversation, but it's probably going to be superficial. Where I get into, I, I, I'm happy to get into you know the details of people's lives if there's ways that that um, that we can be helpful and and um, and, um, and be influential in some way. The other thing is that um, I love being a coach. Uh, I coach baseball. This year I coach, I coach baseball for a long time. And uh, this year I coach basketball too. And it's an opportunity for my son and I to, to, to spend more time together. But I also um, just love the opportunity of, um, of helping, uh, of working with kids and especially helping the kids that maybe aren't the best kids on the team, but are learning and need that little boost of confidence. and. Uh, it really gives me uh, kind of a, a respite from the intense world of, of government and, 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 and this world to be out on the field and get some fresh air and be able to have 
some one-on-one -on -one impact on people sometimes that uh, that can that can be helpful and, uh, and 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 enjoy and enjoy the game and the and the competition and the athleticism. I had a town commissioner that just a couple weeks back gave me this walking stick um, that was handcrafted by this person, and it was an incredibly nice gesture. I don't I don't know exactly why um, it was given at this moment, but um, it has a compass on top. And within a week of having it in the office, um, somebody that is a town employee um, that I care about a lot and I think is one of the most thoughtful, conscientious, um, you know, caring and individuals that really get it on, um, on providing public service, um, was talking to me. We were having an after hours discussion um, about a bunch of things and how to kind of help change the culture and help to uh, inspire people to want to do some of the work that's government work, some of it, some of which is uh, tedious and some of which is big picture, but to get them on board and, and talking about how to do that and, and having an open conversation about how some of it's pretty overwhelming to try to say, you know, you want to achieve things. You know, you want to solve things that in some ways are world problems and you're not going to necessarily be able to solve a world problem. It's, it's it's bigger than you, but you can you can you could take your step, and and he pointed to the compass and he said, I I think that it's really powerful that the timing right now with all these different things that are happening and 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 things that the town's trying to do together with a lot of different people, that the compass had that the the walking stick had a compass to kind of symbolize having this stick and having something that will. Um, try to help you to to walk in that right path to kind of to always know even in in uncertain times where uh, where north is and to try by by symbolism for me it was um, a reminder to always stick to the principles that you have and to um, and to try and do what's right and to always head you know head north head head in that in that right direction